Good evening, it is Monday and it is a new weekly reading vlog. So it's about quarter past nine. I meant to start this earlier and didn't, obviously. I have done my reading. I have only edited and uploaded the vlog from last week, which you will see tomorrow for me, last week for you, obviously. Um, and discovered, I don't think I told you in a vlog. So, as it turns out, I had not logged all of my books on Storygraph. So I've actually read 99 books, not 97. Which means I only need to read one more book to complete my 100 book goal, which, again, is my yearly goal. And I'm going to complete it in six months. I have four days left this month, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, yeah, four days. Four days left of this month. Um, I need to read a book. I also need to film three videos, I want to say. I need to film my TBR, my wrap up and the mid-year freakout tag. Yeah, three videos. And I need to edit those and get them uploaded so that I can relax on holiday because of the way everything works, there'll be those videos have to come out when I'm either away or I'm not going to have enough time to come back, then film and edit them and then get them up in time. So yeah, three videos to film. Hopefully they'll be really easy videos to film. I've decided to ask my friends to choose my TBR for July. So they are currently doing that they've got access to my TBR and so far I've got five or six books chosen for me and I do have mandatory reads for readathons so they are included on top of that list um, and we'll see how I go from there so TBR and wrap up will be coming in quick succession because I want to I'm only going to read one more book this month I'm not going to try and like see how many I can get read in four days no I'm reading one more book I'm hitting that hundred and that's it so the next book I finish will be the next book I read, like, finish in June, so I can get my wrap-up done. I'm not reading. Um, if I do have time, and I've got time left at the end of my month, I will watch Heartstopper again, and I will watch Hawaii Fiegel. But I'm not reading anymore. Once I hit that 100, I want that clean 100 for six months. Um, plus, like I say, videos to watch, to film. So, that's the plan. I did also, however, so I said in last week's vlog that I was going to be starting La The Lady is a Vamp. The Lady is a Vamp. Um, every time I'm like, that's why the lady is a vamp. Like, <laughs> every time. Um, but I will not be reading that because I forgot I'm taking part in two readathons this month. And by this month, I mean June. It's the 26th of June. I have two readathon books that I have not read. One of which is vengeful and I'm not going to try and get through that in four days it is a chunker and I don't want to stress myself out because I really really enjoyed I loved vicious so I want to enjoy vengeful without feeling rushed so so the other readathon that I completely forgot about that I was taking part in and um didn't even put my book on my TBR for this month is the read along for the Helen Huang book so the kiss quotient the bride test and the heart principle so this is the book for june and i'm going to try and read this it is a romance and it is 314 pages long so i think that's more reasonable than the over 500 pages that i believe vengeful is if not it's over definitely over 400 um and is a sort of sci-fi fantasy this is a romance and i think i'll be able to read this very fast so this is what i will be reading um, for my last book of June and my 100th book all going well if I hate it and DNF it then we're going to have issues but it's fine Um, so I'm going to stop blabbing at you because this is nearly 5 minutes long and I'm going to go and finish watching some uh, Dear Evan Hansen videos I made the mistake <laughs> of watching a um, video by Hannah I can't remember her surname but she's a voice teacher and she does react videos on YouTube and I really like watching her. And one of the videos she did, so the one I watched was her reacting to Ben Platt singing 
Fourth River. Yeah, Fourth River. And then I remembered that she reacted to the Four Evans doing Fourth River. And I really, really love that version of Fourth River. So I decided to watch that. I've watched it like four times now. I've been tearing up. And if you listen to the Four Evans version, it sounds like they're singing to each like it's it's done so it sounds like they're singing to each other rather than like it's a duet they make it a duet instead of one person talking or one person singing and there's four of them so there's two two and two and they they make up the four evans and they do all the harvies and stuff but the the way it's done is like they're speaking to each other like the two and two are speaking to each other go go what i will link it down below go watch it it's amazing and it's making me tear up because, and I just said this to my group chat, um, that song, so For Forever, sang by the Four Evans, and the way that it's done so that it's like a duet, makes me think of like two, boy, two, two boys falling in love. So I said it could be like a song out of Heartstopper of the Musical, where like Nick and Charlie singing this to each other before Nick realises that he actually has romantic feelings for Nick. It, sorry. <laughs> before Nick realises he has romantic feelings for Charlie so it's like Nick and Charlie singing this to each other and like Nick's like yeah like just like two buddies do and Charlie's like <laughs> you know what I mean and I'm just you know how much I love Nick and Charlie if you don't know how much I love Nick and Charlie by now where have you been you must be new hello welcome if you are um but I've cut my arm apparently fun um but yeah, go and listen to it with the thought in your head of like Nick and Charlie, early days, singing this to each other. Oh, I mm, I really want to go rewatch Heartstopper. So I need to get on it, read this, watch Heartstopper because I will never get enough of Heartstopper and I will put up with the constant ribbon. Although nobody's ripped me for a while about Heartstopper. So guys, get on it, come on. Um, I said that I absolutely would not like Heartstopper, that I wouldn't even bother reading it, that it just wasn't for me. Now it's solidly part of, like, my personality. There's, like, you know, on Inside Out, where there's, like, the core memories, Heartstopper lives right free, right in there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, go watch it, and I will update you probably tomorrow at this point. Although Tuesdays have been getting away from me. One page sent to this book. I can't stop smiling. And I don't know if I want to scream, cry, or throw the book away. Like, like, throw the book against the wall. Because it's too much. <laughs> I love Michael. I love Michael so much. I... I love Michael. He reminds me so much of Fox from uh, it Happened One Summer, who cleaned the sinker. He reminds me of Fox. And I really like Fox. And he also reminds me of someone else, another, another male romance character, and I can't remember who, but. I spoke about it in one of the vlogs where I went on and on about it. Maybe my new favourite might have been from Love Theoretically, actually. So, like, Jack from Love Theoretically mixed with Fox and you've got Michael. <sighs> I think... Wait, I am... I think I'm blushing. Like... Just... They've just had ice cream and he's just kissed her in the ice cream place and like like <laughs> oh my god I can't I just oh I can't stop smiling I love these two so much I love Michael so much um 
I I should really be going to bed. I was gonna read one chapter. I was gonna read one chapter. I'm on chapter ten. I oh I love this. I This is right up my alley. Like I love a slow burn. Like I love the lead up. I love the tension and this is like so far is just pure tension. Like pure tension no payoff. If you've read it, you know what I mean. And like they're like very quickly and obviously falling for each other and both are like, no, this is a business arrangement. This is a business business arrangement. Um, if you don't know what the kiss question is about, I, I didn't say. So, um, Stella is a economic person. You can, there was a word for it, but it's complicated. And I can't say it. But she also has autism. Um, Helen Huang has used the term Asperger's in this book, but that is no longer used. It is now just purely autism spectrum disorder. Um, so, Stella has autism. And she's very... Um, sort of stuck in her routine she always does the same thing like that sort of mindset she's obviously very intelligent she makes a lot of money at her job because she's very very good at what she does um, her job's about data anal analytics and seeing patterns which you know textbook and her mum and dad are always at her to get a boyfriend and they're like the book opens up with them being like we know you don't like surprises so we're just telling you your expectations now we want grandkids and she's like I'm sorry what Grandhead means babies and babies means pregnancy and pregnancy means sex and sex means husband and husband means boyfriend and boyfriend means <sighs> I need to speak to people and she's like freaking out. So because of her terrible experiences with sex previously she has hired a male escort, Michael, to teach her how to have sex. Which obviously a great idea like She's like, her mindset on this is like, I need to be taught something. I'm going to go to a professional. Do I relate to her in too many ways? Maybe. <laughs> it makes sense. Like, all of her mindset makes sense. <laughs> I don't understand why I never do the thing. What she's doing is a daft idea because it makes sense. You want to learn how to ski, you get a ski instructor. Instructor, instructor, you want to learn how to dance. You get a dance instructor. You, what? But like, Michael is like hot as hell, so obviously she's like, god damn. But then he's also really kind and sweet and patient and caring and just like, I want to smush him. <laughs> like, he makes me feel violent. He's so cute. Um, and then Stella is the first woman in probably years that has treated him one like a human and two has actually cared about him and he is starting to twig that there's something there where she's not his normal type of client um, and also twigging that there's something going on with the autism. Like she's not said to him that she has autism but He's starting to twig that there's something up and is adapting to that. So, like, he was getting annoyed about something. About she, she was making lists um, about, like, what they should do, like, how they should progress with the lessons. And he was, like, getting really irritated. And he was, like, I'm starting to get the idea, like, she's not listing this in a way that I should be irritated about. So he asks her, and he's, like, if I was to tell you I was, uh, um... What was it he said? If I was to tell you that I find your list insulted, like what what would you say? And she was like, Oh, like I didn't I didn't mean like your performance review, but like the performance review is mine and like she starts over explaining it. He's like, Right, no, sorry, got it. He was like it was a hypothetical question. And then he said he's like, Ah, right, okay. She's she's not doing it because of this that I thought she's doing it for something else and it's like a her like, this is what I mean, he's starting to twig things. I'm only 80 pages in and... Uh, I mean, in the first chapter, I was like, I'm going to love this. This is like um, Book Lovers. I read the first chapter of Book Lovers and I was like, this is going to be 
a five star no favourite. So far, I am absolutely loving this. I have been uploading a video to YouTube and I'm thinking about just getting to page 100 and then go to bed. Because I have work in the morning and I need to shower in the morning and that means I need to get up so I should go to bed but I really want to <laughs> read more of this book this is one of those books where I could sit and read it in one go like it would be one of those books where I looked up suddenly it was four in the morning um, and I was finished the book so I should really just watch and uh, yes five to midnight I should write famous last words I will read one more chapter Hello, it's Tuesday and I feel like my hair's really big today. Um, I don't know if that's just... Tell me if you think my hair's really big today. I don't I don't know what's happening with it. Um, yeah, so I got up to 100 pages into the Kiss Quotient last night. And I have not stopped thinking about it. I will probably finish it tonight on uh, Lisa Sprints because I'm going to do Lisa Sprints tonight. Uh, I need to leave for work in like 15 minutes and I've just realised I have no makeup on. Like I usually just put mascara on. Um, which I never used to do but it's a new thing I'm trying. Uh, so I need to go put... Do I even want to? Yeah, I'll go put mascara on. And Hamish is, Hamish is very not happy that I'm going to work. Hi right, you sweetheart. He's like, why do you have to leave me alone? All day. All day on your own. Oh no. Just a little sidebar for anybody who's going to get annoyed that I leave my dog all day on his own. I work for four hours a day. <laughs> um, So he's alone for like four hours because my work is literally like five minutes that way. Um, Not to mention the fact that currently my brother in law, who we live with, is uh, off work. So he's literally not alone in the house. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna get some mascara on, head off to work, and come back and get dug in to the kiss quotient. I might even finish it before sprint. I am like, I I really want to read this book. Like, I really want to dive into this book, and it will be my 100th book of the year, and I'm so excited for that. So, I will see you later. Hello, it's later on Tuesday, Monday. What day is it? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's later on on Tuesday. My hair still looks quite big actually. I thought it had gone, gone down. Gone down. I am sleepy. I got a message while I was just about to finish work from my mother-in-law, Kay's mum. Um, because yesterday I had phoned her and asked if she wanted to lunch at the garden centre after work because I had to go that way to get home from work because of the traffic. Um, and Normally she's she's here um, in the, the same sort of area for work. And she was like, no, I'm like at home just now. And then she got rained off this morning, so she was here for lunch. Um, so I'd message me like, do you want to go to the garden centre today? So we went to the garden centre and had lunch. And I'm only just getting back and it's like four o'clock. And I finished work at two. So it's actually not too bad. <sighs> I'm stuffed and I'm sleepy. And... I'm so doing sprints tonight. I'm gonna go eat. Hello, I am up in my office. It is Wednesday and I am editing the videos that I filmed yesterday. So I am, um, I've uploaded, well I've edited two and uploaded them and I'm waiting on the second one to upload properly onto the YouTubes. And then I need to edit the last one and that will be me sorted until I have to film my August tea year, really. Like, all I've got to do is vlogs. So obviously this vlog will need to get edited and put up on the Sunday. So my Sunday will probably be cut, cut short. But this is the only thing I need to film, like I need to do now, really, before going on holiday on Monday. So that is a massive weight off my shoulders. Um, It, it really is, which is great. Freedom wise, I finished the kiss quotient last night. I may have stayed up till like 2 in the morning finishing it off and oh my god I love this book. I love like 
my corners kept getting better and better and better and the way Stella grew as a person as well and was able to like stand up for herself was just fantastic and her mum at the end of it the fact that her mum turned into her dad and was like you need to you need to take a step back like no, you need you need to just like get out of here because we need to think about what's best for Stella, not what you think is best for you. Like it was very quick, like there could have been a bit deeper discussion into things like that. Like this book is very surface level to me. It doesn't really deep dive into the character experiences like I kinda wish it could. I have seen books do that better, but for just the characters, I, I love the characters so much. And, oh, again, Michael is just one of my favourite characters of all time now. This this book was just... It was so good. But yeah, like I said, I am not going to be reading anything else in June. That was my 100th book of the year so far. That was book 100 in six months. And I am... It's my last book of June. I'm not going to pick up my reading again until... Probably... Well, it'll be the first, but that'll be, I don't know what day that'll be, but Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. I'll start reading again on Saturday, but I think this week I'm just going to, I think I'm going to rewatch Heartstopper because of who I am as a person. And then I'm going to watch some more, binge watch Hawaii Five-O because I want to get that finished. So that's one last thing that I have to watch. There are other things I want to watch though, but I, I, I still need to finish private practice. There's, there's a lot I need to watch, okay? <laughs> I'm really bad keeping up with my TV shows, but it's fine. And these are all shows that have been out for a while. So I'm a bit behind. Oh, this video is taking ages. Right, I'm going to go and edit the last video, the last video while this one uploads to YouTube. Um, but I'll see you later. Hello, it is Friday. I don't think I vlogged yesterday. Um... Sorry if that's true, but I've finished work. I've been home for hours now and I have just been catching up with my YouTube videos while doing, going through the Stuff Your Kindle day books um, and my eyes are starting to go like mm. But uh, yeah, um, I got this yesterday, which I was very excited about. Just the T and LGBT by Jimmy Vance. This um is slightly damaged, but do you know what? I can't be bothered to. There's like dents and stuff in that, but I don't care. Um, Jimmy is fantastic. I love watching Jimmy's videos and his wife Shaba's videos, and I'll tag them both in the description as well. Um, this is pretty much what you what it says on it is everything you need to know about being trans. And Jimmy collaborated on this with other trans people as well so it's a kind of varied experience um of being trans obviously one person or even 10 people can't tell you the full experience so the more people you speak to the more you'll understand the experience and yeah i just after reading what's the tea by jonah dawson i'm really really excited to get to this other than that um yeah i just want to finish this one video and then i'm going downstairs um, because I'm getting a headache from staring at the computer after being at work, staring at the computer. But, uh, I wasn't planning on picking anything up, but I'm really tempted now to pick up Brisbane Royal Blue. This is meant to be on my TBR for June, uh, July, sorry, for July, and I forgot. I totally forgot until I saw Chloe's TBR mash. And, sorry, sorry, shiny. Um. And she mentioned the body read and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I might get started on this. And I'm going to read my new edition because I believe there are, um, I believe there's extra in this. Extra, like an extra chapter or something in this. So I would like to read this. That's one last stop. Let me see, let me see. What was I going to do? Oh, was my oh yeah. Keep reading for an exclusive new chapter from Henry, Henry's point of view. So yeah, there's an extra chapter in this, so I would rather read this than reread my paper copy, paperback copy. Look, my brain's just falling asleep, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and finish this.
video and then I will go downstairs and just loaf on the couch because my head hurts. I need painkillers, I need liquids, I need food. Good afternoon, it is Saturday. I am uh, running about like a, well I'm not running about, I am like packing for going away on Monday and I've got my clothes packed now, I've got my outfit chosen for Saturday, for Monday when we're travelling. Um, I've got a couple of things I need to put in to my bag um, and I've got a bag that I'm packing for Hamish. I should pay to pick whatever she's taken, um, which is fine because we can do that tomorrow. This All the camping stuff is migrating here, which is fine. Um, Hamish, I've got stuff in the washing machine because stuff needs washed. Hamish being so, so helpful. So what I've done with the stuff that needs, that can't go in the tumble dryer, is I've put it on this here by the door so that it's nice and like it's getting a breeze because I can't be bothered putting the furla gig up and doing all that nonsense. But Hamish and his infinite wisdom after be telling him Well there you are sir. After be telling him not to go out underneath the because he can fit underneath this. After we telling him not to, he goes out and sits in the garden. And I'm like, um I've just told you not to do that. So, mega not impressed with him, but, sorry, you probably can't even hear me over the washing machine. But yeah, I'm just making myself some lunch because I've not eaten yet, um, and then I will continue. And by lunch, I mean it's half past three. So this is where we're at right now. I have a really bad migraine. Taking painkillers, and I've got my. It's called a hangover mask, but I ignore my ears. I just. It's because I've got the. I don't know. Um. It's called a hangover mask, but it's like. Basically, it's just like it's a gel pack, ma one of those gel masks, and uh, you put it in the fridge, and uh, it's nice and cool. And honestly, this is the best thing that I've found so far for my headaches like I don't know what it is about the coolness of it but it just like it really helps so I'm going to be wearing this for 20 minutes um, and I can't decide where this is meant to go um, I'm going to be wearing this for 20 minutes and probably reading some more of Red, White and Royal Blue I'm at page 70 two um and I forgot how much I like this book. Like I knew I remembered I liked it, but like I forgot the start of it and it's just I just love it. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna Oh my goodness, this is really sore. Here we go. I'm gonna go and let this um let this do its job. I'll be I'll be really short tomorrow, um whatever I show you because I'll need to get this edited uploaded tomorrow so it goes up on Tuesday because we'll be away on Monday and Monday's usually when I edit so I'll have to get this all done tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more of a decent way into Red White Royal Blue. Um I will try and update you when we're packing and uh, then I'll be getting this edited and uploaded on Tuesday and then I've got other video I've got my videos scheduled for the next month other than my vlogs which is great um but yeah I'm gonna go because I just want to get this I just want to get I want to go to bed I'm tired I know what's going ahead hello it's Sunday I come at you as a partially dried drowned rat because I went to the shop and as I was about to leave said shop, it started pouring down. So I am pretty much soaking. Um, I am currently eating a meal deal. Um, so is Kay. And we are getting ready to pack everything. The living room is an absolute, like, I'll show you. So this is all the stuff. <laughs> we're, we're packing. So yeah, um, we now need to get it all into the car. It's gonna be fun. It's thankfully it stopped raining, 
now that I'm finished. Um, but yeah, I read about almost 100 pages of Red, White and Royal Blue last night. Um, I'll probably read some more tonight if I have any time to do so because I need to edit and post this vlog. So if you're seeing this on Tuesday, the 4th, you will you will know that I managed to do this. Um, the 4th will also be my NK's 3rd wedding anniversary, which is what we're going to wait for. So um, that'll be the next vlog, but yeah. hopefully I'll update you later. Hello, good evening. It is like nearly 5 o'clock. Well, it's not quite afternoon. It's, it's afternoon, evening this time. Um, but I'm just going to end the vlog here. Uh, we've got all the stuff packed. We've just got, I just need to jump in the shower before I can put in like my shampoo and conditioner and stuff. Um, and really it's just stuff now that we need to chuck in the in the car before we leave. Um, like Hamish's stuff, Hamish's bed and stuff that he's going to be using today. Um, although in saying that, you don't really use it, Hamish, do you? No, as he's... Wait a minute, I'll show you. So this is coming with us, his big cushion and his cool mat. And uh, as you can see, he uses it all the time. Not a single care in the world, that dog. Not a single care. We need to get his, you need to go get his bed out of the summer house before I forget again. <laughs> I just remembered while I was talking to you guys. Anyway, so I'm gonna finish this vlog now. Get it edited, get it uploaded so that you can see it on Tuesday. And I'm just gonna help apparently. After that I'm gonna jump in the shower so that I can pack the rest of my stuff. And you'll see how I got on on my holiday next week. Yeah, so, um, what should I do, what should I do? Emoji wise. I don't know what to do, emoji wise. Um, just leave me like, uh, I don't know, like a pink heart or something. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Um, or a pineapple. My pineapple plant is, if there's a pineapple, give me a pineapple. Because my pineapple plant's just, it's, I don't even know what to do at this point. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and wish me luck for this coming week.